Welcome to today's event. Um, I'm Jason, I'm the president of the Secular Society. It's great to have you all here. It's great that you didn't get lured by the Christian Union who are giving out free hot cross buns on campus. Good work. Good work. Um, yep, for those of you who don't know who Jamie Kilstein is, he's a comedian in town for the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. This is his show. It's playing until the uh, 18th of April. Do go and see it if you haven't. Um, if you've already seen it, go see it again. And um, we're gonna, I'm going to turn this off um, once I introduce Jamie, because um, it'll affect the thing. So um, anyway, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. The Secular Society is in a, 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 a club that's been on campus for since 2007, and um, our goals are to promote reason and science instead of um, irrationalism and dogma. Um, it's a pleasure to have Jamie Kilstein uh, here. The topic of his talk, um, which is his idea, is why people think atheists are dicks. Please uh, join me in welcoming him to the front. Uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, not to sound patronizing, but I really do mean this. Uh, clap for Jason again for having me. And all celebrity and shit this last month. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming. Um, I assume that, uh, I don't know, I don't need to talk about who I am because we're either Facebook friends or two of you probably heard me say cocksucker a lot before Dawkins and are angry. Um, so yeah, I also, by the way, was tempted by the hot cross buns people, uh, but instead I just had Jason take a picture of me giving the thumbs up by the Jesus saves thing. Because uh, uh, I'm condescending. All right. Um, so I didn't really, I didn't plan a lot, um, but there are a couple things, I didn't plan it all, I'm gonna be completely, I have scribbled notes like a sociopath in my notebook, um, but there are a couple things I really wanted to, to touch on. Number one, uh, I was always skeptical of groups like this. Uh, good night. No, I, <laughs> I, uh, I was, um, because I was sort of that classic, I knew I didn't like organized religion, uh, I knew I had gay friends, and I knew that I was also friends with women, and I was like, I should probably be fighting against this. Um, he just, just logic told me something was wrong with it, but at the same time, really up until like four years ago, I was that awful, douchey, uh, you certainly know them if you go to a university where I was like, hey, I'm against organized religion, but I can still be spiritual. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. Like, I don't. I didn't do anything spiritual. I didn't meditate. I didn't like. I didn't. I, I. I didn't read my horoscope. Like there was nothing spiritual I did. But I feel like when people say that, that's like I'm against your religion. But in case there is a hell, I'm keeping my options open. Like that's sort of what people are saying with that. And I think it's sort of a weak. Uh, argument, but I never, I still, even with all of that, I never saw it, I never really thought it was that important to say I was an atheist. Um, because, you know, as you guys know, religion, or, you know, atheism, it's sort of a non-belief. You don't have to do anything. And that's fucking awesome. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I could be at home watching The Simpsons and be like, yep, still an atheist. Like, I don't have to fucking leave my house. That's incredible. That is the best belief ever. Do you know what I mean? Um, but the problem is I see it more, and what I want to talk about is I see it as a political issue, not necessarily a religious issue. I think that... You know, a lot of us, as cool as this is, and as great as it is that we found like-minded people, there's still part of me that thinks some of us would rather be home. Uh, some of us would just rather not think about it. Why would you want to think about it? Because, again, since it's a non-belief, you should be at home. You should be falling in love. You could be reading books. You could be doing all of those things. If I don't believe in something, why do I have to come out uh, and organize, right? And so the first time I met a atheist group, it was in Sydney, and they emailed me, and they were really cool kids, and they came to my show, and there was part of me that I was totally taken back at first, because I was like, yes, like I have, you know, I have fans that, 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 that don't believe in, you know, these dogmas, and they don't get together, and they don't have to celebrate these stupid rituals, and then they all show up, and they have their A-shirts, and I was like, oh shit, uh, <laughs> fuck, what did I get myself involved in? And there was part of me that I was really kind of skeptical at first, and then 
you know, they were all smiling, which, like, right away, you see a bunch of smiling people, you're like, cult. Uh, <laughs> there's no real happy people, are there? Uh, <laughs> but then I got to know them, and they were, like, the most amazing people I've ever met. Like, they don't just talk about atheism. We talked about music. We talked about fucking comic books. Whatever. We talked about everything. And it was great. And the more I started to think about it, I think that it's important what you do for two reasons. Uh, two main reasons. The first one is... Anyone who tells you that you shouldn't organize and that that's as bad as religion, I think that's so shitty because the majority of people, they're raised religious, right? And so if you are uh, a free thinker, if you're, uh, heaven forbid, if you're a woman or if you're gay and you're raised in these kind of, these homes where they tell you that that's not good and that you're lesser uh, than, you know, if you're a woman, you're lesser than a man. If you're gay, you're lesser than all of us. Maybe your parents believe that being gay is unnatural. Maybe they believe that they can make you switch. Maybe they believe that they can send you to one of those reprogramming camps, which, God, I hope everybody who goes to those camps just comes back with so many fucking phone numbers and, <laughs> and shit, like, that's my hope. Um, and, uh... So yeah, so I think that if you grow up thinking that you're less than human, and I think that if you move to a city or you find a group of people who suddenly don't adhere to those dogmas, fuck yes. You know, I was really lucky where, you know, my parents were, again, it was that same kind of spiritual but not religion. Like, we didn't go to church uh, or synagogue where we celebrated holidays because presents. And, but, but, but I, I, I really wasn't raised with that fear uh, of hell or anything like that, but I think that if you are and you do escape and you find a group of people that understand you, fuck yeah, I would run towards that group so fucking fast and just be like, tell me I'm not crazy. So that's one reason I think it's good. And the other reason is, again, I think that it's political. What the right and what religious extremists lack in knowledge and what they lack in reason, they make up for in pamphlet making and sign making. Do you know what I mean? Like, those fuckers can organize. And I think that's another problem with, uh, with the left, and one of the reasons I was so excited to get to go to that atheist convention uh, is, is just to see that we finally did organize, because it's so tempting to give in to that criticism, that if we organize, we're just as bad as religion. But the problem is, uh, they're organizing. And they're not just organizing to pray, and they're not just organizing to believe what they believe by themselves. That would be fine. Uh, but they're organizing to take away rights from, from schools, from women, from gays, from you name it, you know? Um, and so that's why we need to counter that politically. That's, that's what I see the big issue is. It's, it's a political issue. And I don't really, I, I think we need to get to uh, a place where atheist groups start also reaching out to the LGBT groups, start reaching out to these anti-war groups, start reaching out to really all of these groups that are fighting for good and that are fighting for tolerance and that are fighting for equality because it's the same thing. And I think that the reason people do think atheists are dicks is because, you know, it just seems like we want to take away their fun. Like, that's what it is, where they're like, I was kind of excited to see my cat in heaven. Why? <laughs> what the fuck is Richard Dawkins' problem? Why does he hate cats? Like, why does he hate my cat? Where's my fucking cat? Like, and, uh, and so we, we, we do. We need, we need to counter these things. And, and we need to do it politically. And we need to organize. Uh, a really good example... Uh, so in America right now, um, we were supposed to get uh, Barack Obama campaigned on universal health care, health care very similar uh, to yours, but then what happened was the right wing came out and they were fucking loud. Now they're crazy, these are the same ones with like the Obama Hitler signs and like they're nuts, but they're loud. And because they were loud and because they organized, they got on TV. Uh, they got on a lot of TV, and even when they speak, even when they're telling lies, once that lies out in the ether, as you guys all know, uh, people pick up on it, and we're a soundbite culture. We just hear little sound bites, and we're like, hey, I heard this on the news. And they're like, is it true? And they're like, I don't fucking know, but ah, uh, uh, and, and, and that's it. And it's too late, you know what I mean? So, so right now, so for healthcare, because these people were loud and because they were organized, uh, you watch the TV, and you just hear lies. You just hear people being like, you don't want to be like Australia, you don't want to be like those socialists with their, with their free health care and they're alive people. Like, nobody, <laughs> nobody wants that. I'm drafting a zombie bill that I think wants to be 
pretty keen about. Uh, no, 